Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it is for March 2021 like I said. So let's pull your overarching energy or message for the month. I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams here, then we'll use the Angel Answer card decks and deck I should say and then I'll pull four cards, roughly works out as one card per week using Rider Waite Classic and the Radiant Wise Spirit to clarify, go deep into the message. Remember, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. It is a general reading. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Cancerians, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Cancer. What's the overarching message? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Cancer needs to hear. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. The Magician. The overarching energy for you is the magician this month. Lovely energy, okay. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you, thank you. Remain positive. You know, this is positive mental thinking, positive attitude, positive energies. It is very much linked with the law of attraction, you know, you know the, the universe rewards us by our actions, by the energy that we put out there. Um, so it is just watch your energy, guard your energy, you know, how you take action, be mindful of that is how you get rewarded. Certainly with the magician, you know, it feels very beautiful, which is all about manifesting something. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards. Like I said, roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that, the messages may well overlap. Okay, so what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides, March 2021. La jumped out, we have the Lovers card of Gemini. Three of Cups here. The Nine of Cups, very nice, the Wish Fulfillment card. And we have the Five of Pentacles there, Cancer. Okay. So can we clarify the cards on the table for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you. Okay. So, Seven of Pentacles. Three of Cups is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands clarifies the Nine of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles is clarified with the Three of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. Okay, so Cancer, the Magician energy. I mean, we, we all love the Magician, don't we? And why do we love the Magician? Because he is all about magic, the magic of the universe, our own magic, recognizing our own magic. And what is magic? It is our own ability, resources, practical capabilities, intellectual capabilities, intuitive capabilities to bring change to our situation and understand that we have the power to do that because we are being blessed, watched over, guided by God, the divine, the universe. So he is, when you believe you can, you will, you know, it's that kind of energy. Um, he is about new beginnings as well, um, manifesting new paths, an idea to reality, um, negative to positive. You know, he is a wonderful energy of now is the time to manifest. The timing is right. Um, it's ready. To, it's a card of action. You have the resourcefulness, the capability, the power that when you focus on the one particular thing that you want to change in your life, that is when you can make it happen by believing that you can. So that is the energy here. And it's interesting, I was ping, picking up with the law of attraction so heavily because it feels, what I said about this card is, is really true here. Keep on going, keep on taking action. 
try to stay positive because that will make all the difference in how you're rewarded this year, this month. Um, it feels very, very beautiful indeed, Cancer. Uh, what we put out to the universe is what we get back. You know, if we put out negativity, we just get that back. And it feels for some of you, um, just keep, keep going, you know, because for some of you, there is frustration here. And I can see that here. Now, this could be to do with a relationship, you know, with the lover's card, or it could be a financial situation causing frustration, you know. Uh, sometimes the Seven of, of Pentacles can be a card of taking stock. I've put a lot of energy into this relationship. Do I want it anymore? Do I want to keep on putting my energy towards it? So it can be that kind of thing. And the lovers is to do with harmonious relationship, the perfect match. Um, somebody who compliments you completely you know it's beautiful beautiful energy um, but it, it can also be something a third thing I'm feeling for some of you that's affecting your relationship so it feels to do with money and career here sometimes this can be a choice card so taking stock making some kind of choice here um, so that could resonate for some of you this month but here we have, I mean, look at this. And I love this energy because the Three of Cups is a card of reasons to celebrate. Um, the winter is over, the spring is here, reaping the rewards, you know. The Three of Cups is just an energy of reaping the harvest. What you've been putting your energy and effort towards, it feels for some of you the opportunity is coming your way. Now, if it's to, been to do with career financial opportunities this is a new beginning in terms of career financial opportunities uh, very good in terms of jobs investment um, the beginnings of abundance um, yeah it's, it's the golden opportunity and remember the magician is somebody who understands how to turn base metal into gold and this is the golden coin the golden opportunity um, so it feels for some of you, that's why you're being told, you have the ability, you are the alchemist, this is pure alchemy. So, you know, you have the ability to come through something and really change something in your life to gold. Um, now, this can also be about moving, relocating. So for some of you, if you've been evaluating something either as a couple or to do with a relationship, it could well be some action that you're taking, manifesting a new path, you know, uh, you know, bringing some change here. This is new beginning energy. So very, very beautiful indeed. The nine of wands is a card of whatever's challenged you. It feels for some of you it's nearly over. Um, you're one wand away. Sometimes it can represent one obstacle to come over, to overcome, I should say. Um, just one push, one obstacle, one stroke of effort, you know, that kind of energy to go and you're there. You know, it's that kind of energy. Um, but if there is any obstacle that you're experiencing in the third week, uh, it is going to be the final obstacle. That's what I'm, I'm definitely feeling for some of you. Just one push to go and you're done. You know, it feels that kind of energy and that's when the hope, dream and wish comes true. You know, it feels very connected with this energy here, I have to say. The Ace of Pentacles, the door opening, um, things beginning to feel good, reasons to celebrate, uh, positive communication. You know, this is a Cancerian energy. Uh, and it's a communication energy as well. So the Nine of Pentacles, sorry, it's funny, interesting I say the Nine of Pentacles because, yeah, that's very good in terms of money, career, um, business as well. So again, the Nines can be goal achievements, personal achievements. So it feels for some of you a wish, a hope, a dream, um, something that you really want, your heart's desire is just one step away. There may well be one final obstacle here, Cancer, and that could be where this kind of comes in because, you know, the Five of Pentacles can be when things get on top of you. This is a card of feeling lack and it's to do with the Three of Swords. Now, 
The Three of Swords can be heartbreak, so it might well be, sometimes it can be some truth coming to light that hurts you deeply. So in terms of, it can be sometimes third party situations, I mean it can also be a third thing. So certainly in terms of relationships, uh, that can be where you're feeling lack. You can be begrudging somebody, you know, feeling out in the cold, you know, that kind of energy. And it might well be that's why you've been taking stock of something here. Could be something to do with the relationship that you've been going through here. Um, it can also be, like I said, it's not just limited to love. It can be a third thing that is, it can be a financial thing. So five of pentacles, financial loss, financial hardship, um job loss changes in your finances you know for the negative so for the worst you know where you're feeling the pinch that kind of energy so it can well be for some of you you've been dealing with this or you're dealing with this in march and there's definitely an energy of the two of cups now the two of cups can be offers, invitations, and again, something absolutely connected to your heart, something that you really want. Remember the two of cups in, in its purest energy is to do with a bond between two people. So it can be your bonding with somebody. I mean, that could be to do with um, opportunity coming into your world. So definitely some offer exchange, um, invitation coming your way so very good in terms of maybe money career finances but this can also be a card of reconciliation if you've had trouble in terms of your relationship it can be to do with let's just start over let's just you know reconnect you know uh, it definitely feels we established the bond that kind of energy having gone through some tough time here you have the opportunity to change something from negative to positive. Remember, the magician is making the impossible possible. You know, something that you think is, uh, it feels impossible, something that you think, oh my goodness, this is such a test, it's never going to happen. It is, you know, the magician is. If you understand your own power, your own resourcefulness, your own capability, you have the opportunity to really manifest base metal to gold. You are the alchemist this month. So definitely this energy of remain positive because know your own power to bring real change to a situation. Um, so a very, very beautiful energy here. It's interesting, this can also be about balance as well. So again, if you've been hit by finances, feels that's getting the balance back in a relationship. Okay. Final message for Cancer, please. Final message for Cancer. We have solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. I mean, if you're feeling some kind of isolation, I mean, that could be as a couple, that could be, you know, isolation from each other, that could be as a couple feeling isolated, uh, going through a hard time, you know, and again, that can be about begrudging other people or other people are fine and you're not, you know, you might feel a bit like that in March. The message is you're going to get definitely this energy of there is a new beginning, the new opportunity coming your way, reasons to celebrate here, new pathways, uh, moving, relocating, call it what you will, could be both, but it might well just be one obstacle, um, one push before you get your hope, dream and wish here, you know, so that could be that kind of energy. It's how you look at something that will change everything. Yeah, because we have manifestation, which is the magician. So be very honest and clear about what you man wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one, you know. So remember, you have the magic tap into your magic um, because it makes all the difference this month absolutely beautiful so i hope you enjoyed the reading cancer if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you and i will see you next time thank you